Why is biology so difficult to, uh, to penetrate? Why is it so intractable? The answer is because even the simplest biological system is extraordinarily complex. And trying to understand the essence of something very complicated is very difficult because the essence is buried under layers of complexity. And my analogy for the, the issue is to compare two planes, a, a modern Boeing 747 and the Wright Brothers 1903 model. Now, if you want to fly somewhere, you want to get into a 747 because it functions very well. But if you want to understand the principles of flight, you don't want to study a Boeing 747 with its you know, kilometers of wiring, millions of parts, you go into the cockpit and you just, all of those dials there, and you go into the cabin, TV screens, ovens for heating food. You know, what is important to making this thing fly? There's just too much, you don't know where to start. You go to the Wright Brothers 1903 model, and everything there is essential for flight, and by studying that, you can get a good idea of the principles of flight. In the same way, systems chemistry, which looks at simple replicative systems, it's all, you see the essence of what biology is all about with all of the layers of complexity removed. So we can see the nitty gritty there. And that's why this new area of systems chemistry will shine new light on biology and enable us to understand biological questions that have been confounding biologists for the last well, since Darwin, 150 years, I think a starting to will take a new uh, perspective through uh, the systems chemistry approach.